מלחמת חרבות ברזל זכתה לסיקור נרחב בכלי התקשורת הגדולים בעולם. כעת הפיקה לשכת העיתונות הממשלתית כנס מיוחד הבוחן את האופן בו סוקרה המלחמה מבחוץ. The meeting today, it was important because you had here media coverage from different countries. The media is a very powerful tool and by even one video or one interview, millions of people can see it at the same time. And then the story, it's multiplied again and again. This is the reason that the story of all the hostages are known almost all over the world. Every night, every day. 24-7, since the beginning of the world. Even when I close my eyes, I see 136 faces. I'm running a news agency covering Israel in the Middle East for more than two decades, and I think it's extremely important to tell the stories of what happened on October 7th. It's critical to teach the world the facts of what has happened, hear the stories of the hostages, their families, those that fell, those that are still in hostage in Gaza. The people, the, the media, the governments, the leaders needs to understand that each minute is critical. I was very interested to meet the family of the hostages. I've read the stories, I've seen the stories on TV. A testimony of family, of witnesses, you cannot ignore it. And it's very impressive, almost surrealistic to see them in front of you. I want to be a witness of the stories. I want to be a witness of what's happening here and to show the world what's happening here. As a journalist, there's a responsibility to tell the world the whole picture and nothing but it. So being here is part of just showing up and telling the story, and that's what the world needs. Our Father in heaven, in Jerusalem, we stand united. Return our love once so quickly, take him Aza. May them return him strong in body and mind. Amen. Amen.